Introducing Experience, a podcast defining the CX of tomorrow. In today's highly competitive, omni-channel marketplace, the role that customer leadership executives, the chief customer officer slash COO, the chief marketing officer slash CMO, and the customer experience officer slash CEO, play within their organizations is more crucial than ever. As Chief Revenue Officer for SAP Customer Experience, I have the privilege of engaging with these world-class business leaders on a daily basis, gaining direct insights into their strategies, visions, and challenges. After having these conversations frequently, I saw an opportunity to build bridges between these customer leadership executives and their peers to amplify their voices and insights. Welcome to Experience, a podcast for CX leaders and execs. Introducing Experience, my new podcast where we dive deep into the rapidly evolving world of customer experience with the executives and futurists who are defining the customer experience of tomorrow. The stories, expertise, and practical advice I've captured from my conversations with these thought leaders is game-changing. Embedded content from art19.com. Join us to listen into these conversations and discover how to differentiate your brand by delivering exceptional customer experiences. Debut episode, Why CX Matters. In our first episode, we'll start at the beginning and answer the questions at the very foundation of customer experience. 1. How do you define it? 2. Where does it stack up in the list of your company's priorities against having a great product or a compelling price point? 3. And what makes a great customer experience leader? The universe of touch points and interactions. John Pico is the founder and principal of Watermark Consulting, a U.S.-based customer experience advisory firm. In my conversation with John as part of episode number one of Experience, we discussed exactly what CX is and questioned the role that the traditional building blocks of a business, such as product and price, play in it. In my view, product and price are integral parts of the customer experience. Think about it, pricing can create a sense of quality. It can create a certain cash. It can drive perceptions of value. How is that not part of the customer experience? Similarly, how is the product not part of the experience? If I buy those tires at the auto showroom, if I buy an automobile, if I buy a computer, or a dishwasher, the feelings that I get when using those products, the joy or the frustration that is all part of the customer experience. One thing that I think companies that do customer experience well really recognize and appreciate is the idea of the broad universe of touch points and interactions and attributes that really come together to form an impression in the customer's mind. A commitment, not a theme. I also checked in with Shep Hyken, the chief amazement officer at Shepard Presentations. We discussed the evolution of CX and how it started as a new way to think about modern customer service but has since expanded to account for every interaction and transaction. When asked what the most important factors are in gaining commitment to CX across an organization, Shep emphasized the importance of having a strong customer-focused leader with a clear vision. He offered further insights as to the initial steps a CX leader should take. Number 1. The leaders should clearly define what they want that experience to be. And that's usually the way I suggest doing it is in one sentence or less. And let's use the Ritz-Carlton as an example, nine words dash we are ladies and gentlemen, serving ladies and gentlemen, that's their North Star. Number two, they take the time to communicate it. And they don't change, it. It's not a flavor of the month or flavor of the year or theme. It's permanent. Join me, won't you? You can listen to the full podcast of episode number one, Why Customer Experience is So Good for Your Brand, Why Does CX Matter? Featuring John Pico, Shep Hyken, Jay Bear, and Greg Chapman, and others, or click below, embedded content from art19.com. And in our second episode of Experience we'll explore what great CX looks like, how do you know what your customers want or anticipate what they might want in the future? How can you measure if your CX strategy is working and how do you go from good to great?